हे यूट्यूब वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन आई एम राहुल एंड वेलकम बैक टू अ ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड सो रिसेंटली आई एंड माई वाइफ वी डेड अ फिफ्टीन डेज ट्रिप अक्रॉस टर्की एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम वी कवर्ड प्लेसेज सच एज इस्तानबुल कैपडोकिया फैतिये अंटालिया एंड पामुका सो हैव बीन गेटिंग अ लॉर ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड ऑन इंस्टाग्राम पीपल आस्किंग मी हे वॉट्स द राइट प्रोसेस टू अप्लाई अ टर्की वीजा so i thought uh, why don't i make this video for you guys so i can simplify the whole process for you and make it easier for you guys to apply your turkey visa so i have broken this whole video down into three sections so in part number 1 we are going to see how to book an appointment with the visa center in part number 2 we will see all the important documents that you need to gather and take it with yourself on the day of your appointment and in part number 3 we will see the visa fee and the processing time so in case you are new to the channel welcome i hope you like the content and if you do please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel it really means a lot to us so to get an appointment with the visa center so you need to send an email to these two email addresses mentioned over here that is helpline.india@gateway.com.tr and info.delhi at the rate gateway.com.tr so you have to set the subject line as turkey visa slot booking and in the body you can paste this entire content i have added this content in the description box below and along with this you have to add the details of all the applicants that are traveling with you and these are very basic details such as full name date of birth passport number date of issue date of expiry mobile number preferred date for your slot and the visa application center so over here you need to add the city in which you you will be applying for the visa so once you send this email in a couple of hours you will get an email back from these guys and it will look something like this so the email will contain a confirmation from the visa center along with date and the time that you need to come and submit your documents now let's move to the part number 2 which is the most important part all the important documents that you need to take with you on the day of your appointment so the first document that you need to take with you is going to be a visa form so i have added the link from where you can download this visa form in the description box below so just uh, get a download of this particular pdf file get a print out and after you have taken out a print out you need to actually fill the whole form manually with a blue or a black pen now once you have filled this form so the the form looks something like this over here so once you have filled this form you need to take out two photos in matte finish so these photos are going to be 2.5 inches into 2.5 inches in dimension and once you have gotten these photos you actually need to stick them over here Now let's move to document number 3. So the document number 3 is going to be your original passport. Since this is a sticker visa, you have to actually submit the passport to the visa center. So make sure you take your original passport with you. Now the document number 4 is confirmed hotel bookings. When it comes to confirmed hotel bookings, what you can do is you can actually go to booking.com or agoda.com and find hotels which allow to pay at the property so what you get from such kind of hotels is that you get a confirmed hotel booking but you don't have to pay up front now the fifth document is going to be your confirmed air tickets now i don't recommend people using dummy tickets for my case uh, a, a fun fact so we travel with etihad airways and uh, for me and for my wife Uh, the whole trip from delhi to istanbul and istanbul to delhi was completely free so if you guys want to know how to get such air tickets for free then do let me know in the comments below and i will definitely make a video about it so the whole ticket costed us about 1 lakh 20000 and we did not pay a single rupee so if you want to know just let me know in the comments below document number 6 is travel insurance So the travel insurance should cover all the COVID-19 related uh, specific needs. So we got ourselves uh, one from ICICI Lombard's website. It was as cheap as 1100 rupees per person. 
so you can go to icici's website and directly purchase it from there now the next document is your cover letter now it does not have to be anything fancy i have I have added a link in the description box below. It's a Google Doc link and it contains uh, the cover letter that I use for all of my international travels. So just, so just download that particular document, fill in the details wherever I have mentioned with an underscore and you will be fine. The next document is for salaried professionals. So you just need to tell your HR, hey, I'm traveling abroad. Uh, just give me a no objection certificate. So what this document particularly means, it means that your employer does not have any problem with you traveling abroad. And this is the document number eight, that is NOC from employer. Now moving on to the document number nine, it's going to be your attested bank statements for six months. So by attested, I mean that it has to be stamped by the bank and someone has to sign over it. Document number 10 is going to be your salary statements the last six months. Document number 11 is three years of ITR proofs. Document number 12 is again a very, very simple document. It's a travel itinerary. Uh, so what I've done is I have also added a link of Google Doc in the description box below, making it easier for you guys. Just download that particular document, uh, edit the dates. It's a good 15 day itinerary, use it and it will be fine. I have used the same uh, for my own travel. So it's, it's totally legitimate. Uh, document number 13 is your vaccination certificate. So I linked my COVID vaccine certificate with my passport. So when you actually download the certificate now, you will see the passport number instead of Aadhaar card's last four digits. Now the next document is going to be uh, valid for married couple so if you're a married couple you actually need to submit your uh, registration with the government now if you don't have a registration don't panic you can head out to a local shop which makes affidavits just tell them hey i need an affidavit for visa and uh, these and just take a few photographs of your marriage so the guy will make an affidavit he will stick the pictures and that is good to go so we uh, i and my wife we are not registered with the government yet so we we got this affidavit made and it it did the job now the last document is going to be an undertaking form now uh, this is a document that you get after you get a confirmation on the email uh, by the visa center now, these are all the important 15 documents that i have mentioned over here uh, each and every document is important make sure you watch the whole video again if you if you want some clarity on the documents required i won't suggest you to skip even one document in this so now let's move on to the part number three and that's the visa processing time and the visa fee so the total visa processing time as suggested by the visa center was 15 working days but i got i and my wife we both got our visas stamped onto our passports on the fifth day after our submission now let's move to the next uh, main main curious question that like what's the visa fee so the total visa fee for turkey comes out to be about 9206 inr 4555 indian national rupee is the total price for a single entry visa 4201 rupee is the global gateways service charge since we opted for a courier facility it costed us about 450 rupees extra so the whole total came out to be as 9206 inr so guys i hope you liked the entire video and if you did please 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 smash the like button do add any questions that you have in the comments below and subscribe to the channel as it uh, helps us to deliver more quality stuff to you guys. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.